talk about some NBA games here, guys. Going to the streets of Toronto here, where we have the Toronto Raptors land seven points at the house versus the Orlando Magic here, getting back seven points on the road. If you like to go with the Magic here on the money line, you can get back plus 220. If you like to go with the favorite here on the money line, the Toronto Raptors, they're laying minus 170 at the house here. Over and under, sitting at 221 and a half in this one, Josh. Um, how are you looking at this game, my brother? Yeah, this is a tough one. The Magic obviously playing good basketball at the moment, but a really tough schedule spot for them. Uh, you know, road back to back and, of course, three and four for them. The Raptors, the final game of a pretty long homestand as well, heading into the All-Star break. So the expectation for them is that they get the job done in this spot. They should do as well, but they've made life pretty difficult for themselves during this homestand as it is already. So a tough one to really gauge. I'm not too sure what to expect from Toronto going forward, to be honest. I'm not confident in my rating. I make this game six and a half. Uh, you know, I, I could see it going two ways. I could see the Raptors blowing the door down. I could see the Magic being live and winning this one outright. Um, so definitely a clear stay away for me. The market pretty strong on the under in this one. Uh, I was closer to the opener, 225 I make it. So a little bit of value now for me on the overs. Uh, I think there is a route for Toronto to be successful offensively. That'll put the pressure on Orlando to have to do the same in return. Um, but we did see these two teams... Uh, when they met back-to-back in Orlando, both fall comfortably under and neither team score 100 in both games there. So there's uh, definitely reason to agree with the market there. I'm just staying away entirely here. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I want no parts of the Raptors right now, man. They're 0-2 ATS since the trade deadline. Keep in mind, they were supposed to trade away Van Vliet. Oh, maybe not OG Ananobi, but definitely Van Vliet and um, and Gary Trent Jr. basically came out and told the team they didn't they're no, they don't want to be there for long term, and they wanted to trade out. So they tried to get deals. They just didn't get back any deals that they liked. So keep in mind that you have two players that really kind of don't want to play on the team anymore, man. And I think they're going to lose Van Vliet at the end of the season for nothing. But 0-2 ATS since the trade there, Chris, they a loss versus the Jazz. They were up 12 points with five minutes ago and ended up losing that one by six. And then the Detroit Pistons, they were laying 11 points in that one and almost lost that one outright. Uh, do you think that we should be laying seven points with the Raptors here? <laughs> oh, how you set that up, Jay? Absolutely not. Um, and, uh, you know, glad to hear that Josh says he really doesn't know about the Raptors moving forward, too, because, Josh, I mean, I feel like you have about as sharp of an edge as anybody in the NBA this year. But this is Raptors team, man. I feel the same way. It's like I was planning on playing on them this year. It looked like a team that was coming together last season. Uh, but, man, alive. They, they're not a good ATS team as a favorite, 42% against the spread. So it's just, you know, based on pure numbers, you want to take the magic here. They're, they're 58% ATS, 57% as an away team, and 61% as an underdog. But, the you know, the reason why this line is where it is, um is is because of the spot for Orlando it seemed like Orlando was trying to give that game away last night in Chicago and Chicago just didn't take it neither team really shot well um but the Magic have a top five defense the last 10 games they're really playing better on that side of the court um and you know Toronto again only covered three of their last nine games and they're really only covering against teams that are you know bad teams or teams in a funk um but then even right like against the Pistons on Sunday or against Houston earlier this month, you just see the Raptors blow leads, and it's 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 really confusing. So, uh, you know, if anything, I'd want to bet on the Magic here. They won 11 of the last 21 games, so they're like a true 50-50 team at this point. But I think when they get good value like this, that's probably the right side. I just don't want to bet on them because of the spot. It's certainly a better spot for Toronto. Although this is the last game for the Magic before they have the All-Star break. So maybe it's an all-in effort there right before that happens. A lot of I don't know in this one, so no bets for me. Yeah, current form, I could only look towards the Magic here plus the seven. We don't like that they're on the wrist, that they're at the wrist disadvantage with the uh, with the road, road back-to-back. But uh, current form, I could only look towards the Magic plus the seven in this one, guys. 